What's going on everyone? It's Nate with American Wilderness and I know it's been a while since I made a video. I decided that I'm gonna finally get around to doing this one about the High Sierra Ascender 40 liter backpack. It's a really good piece of gear. I'm gonna go in depth into my impressions of it. Okay, so yeah, I got this pack like a year and a half ago uh, because I needed a bigger like day pack. Uh, it is 40 liters as I said before and it really fits a lot like really anything that you're gonna need for just one day of hiking it's really good for here you can see these uh, straps adjust on the side I mean I've got some stuff in here right now but if I didn't and I wanted it to be more compact I would just go in and uh, clip it right there it's a little tough now because there is stuff in the pack but you can do it on the other side too and it keeps it all compact because uh, it is it is more of a, a tall pack but if you want to stretch it out it works great there. So uh, I'm gonna go into like all the pockets, all the features on here because as I said before, uh, I really like this pack and uh, if you are considering a pack like this, I would highly recommend it. I'm just gonna say that right now. So I'm gonna go into it in the back here. Uh, this is just sort of like a, a squishy mesh um, backing on here and it's got a uh, metal support inside. It's not a full frame or anything, but it's good for keeping it there like straight along your back and it actually helps with your posture when you're like um, hiking because of just how straight this is it like keeps your back straight which I really like um, I would show you the the metal inside but it sort of got stuck in there it doesn't really matter to me because I'm always gonna keep it in there um, but just so you know that it's there and also you've got the these here I wanted a pack that uh, had support around the waist and this one does and basically, uh, the, it's, it's soft and squishy all the way up here too, uh, which I really like because it, it helps it not feel like it's digging into your shoulders. A lot of backpacks do that. And it sort of spreads the weight around evenly on your shoulders, so it does feel better if you've got a lot of like heavy stuff in the pack. Let's take around to the front. Here's a, uh, a pocket for um, any uh, like drinking tubes you can have. Uh, there isn't... I don't think there's a compartment specifically for water, but since it has this, uh, it allows you to uh, keep a drinking pack around if you want that. Um, it's not specifically a wet pack or anything like that. Um, but then you've got the big compartment here, um, and the zippers go all the way down to the sides. Um, sometimes when you're trying to get stuff in here, you might want uh, the zipper to go down to more of the pack. So that's maybe one uh, concern with it, but uh, basically I haven't found any like real problems with how deep the zipper goes. And then of course you've got the cover on over all of the zipper lines. So that's nice. And here you've got uh, just a, a small like um, convenience sort of pocket. And in here you've got uh, a couple of different pockets in the front here. You've got the mesh and you've got a clip in here. And then you've got a, uh, a portable tablet uh, pocket that you can just slide it in there. I mean, it's really, you don't have to use a tablet or anything like that. Anything that'll fit in here, it's actually just nice to slide in. And it is the front pocket, so that makes it pretty easy. Over here on the front, you've got uh, these uh, Velcro straps for really anything, hiking poles, axes, or whatever. I don't usually carry either of those things, but you can you can tighten it up uh, on either side and it'll be really useful for whatever you're trying to carry here. Um, I, yeah, I already covered these straps and of course you've got a couple of pockets in the side here. I've got my water bottle in this one and these are actually really deep and they should probably hold any you know, really any size of water bottle as well, depending on what you've got inside the pack. And since it goes pretty deep, you don't necessarily have to worry about it falling out, which is good. Uh, that's a really good feature of this pack. So down here at the bottom, I got a couple of uh, bedroll straps. I mean, these uh, are pretty easily adjustable. Um, and then of course you've got uh, these things here that uh, keep the, the slack part of the strap from going all over the place. and as you can see, almost all the straps have that. That's really nice. Um, and then one of the coolest features of this pack in here, let's see if I can't get this out, uh, maybe show, ah, my water bottle falls out. 
a, uh, a cover for the rain. And it doesn't go over the entire pack. It basically just goes over um, the back part, assuming that like this part you're wearing. Um, but it is pretty useful depending on what you have in here, whether you need it to be um, at least covered for the most part from the rain. And you've got, you can adjust it here. So that's pretty nice, pretty useful. I have used it on a couple occasions and uh, yeah, and depending on how much stuff you have in here, because it's adjustable, you can you can tighten it to as small or as big as you need it. So that's a really good feature of this pack, and it makes it useful if you know no matter what weather you're using it in. All right, so I'm just going to show you how it clips on and everything. The fact that there's there's a waist strap and a chest strap. It's really nice, and it's all like fully adjustable. Here's a strap. Here's a strap. Here's a strap, so depending on your body type, I mean, I'm a pretty skinny guy, uh, so I've got to tighten these a lot, but depending on um, your size, it's very easily adjustable. And as I said before, like, the fact that the back is, is flat, it's not gonna like bulge out onto you and make any weird shapes, it just, it stays there and stays like really firm. So that's a pretty nice feature of it, and it is pretty comfortable. I don't have anything really heavy in it right now, but if I did, like, just in the way that you can pack, the bag and change around the center of gravity based on like what's going to be more comfortable for you. I mean, you would do that with any backpack, but especially with this one because it is a tall one. Experimenting around with what you have in there is going to be really useful for you. So, it all depends on what you're carrying. I mean, it is a day pack, but it is a bigger day pack, so you know, it really depends. You could be carrying really anything and for a long period of time too. So, all right guys, if you want to pick this pack up, uh, you can get it for about 70 bucks on Amazon. I believe that's where I got it from. Um, and I do highly recommend it. If you are looking for a day pack that carries 40 liters or, or whatever, if you need something that has that volume, then uh, it is a really good quality pack. Um, High Sierra is a really good brand and it's really durable. So I haven't had any real problems with it yet, so again, I would recommend it. I hope this review helped you out if you're looking up a review about this pack or you're just maybe just looking for any pack in general. I do give it my recommendation and uh, again, I hope this helped. All right, this is Nate with American Wilderness. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.